For almost 300 years, African Americans served a nation that wouldn't serve them. They never hesitated to answer the call to duty, Civil War, Revolutionary War, even before the Revolutionary War, all the way through the present. But history shows that even after demonstrating their performance in the field of battle, they were often just sent back into second-class citizenship, and the nation would not recognize what they had done or what they could do. On July 14, 1919, French, British, and American troops paraded down the Champs-Élysées in Paris, celebrating their triumph in the bloody trenches of World War I. But one American regiment was missing from the Allied ranks. It hadn't been sidelined by injury or a poor service record. In fact, the 369th Infantry was one of the most decorated regiments of the war. They fought without replacements. They fought 191 days on the front line. Uh, they never lost a foot of ground. They never lost a soldier as a prisoner. The men, nicknamed the Harlem Hellfighters, were excluded for one simple reason. They were black. Blacks expected, as soldiers, that they'd be accorded a certain kind of respect that went with the uniform, that they would be treated like other men in, in, in uniform, like whites in uniform. But that was not the case. Confronting that racism, the Hellfighters' determination on and off the battlefield would become legend and inspire generations to come. When you were a young black kid growing up in America, in my generation in the 40s and 50s, what could you look at that was uh, heroic? 369th was something that was heroic. It was uh, fighting 369th. It demonstrated in battle that uh, black men could do anything that uh, white men could do. And if that's the case in the field of battle, how it could be otherwise in the field of medicine or engineering, teaching, or anywhere else? <laughs> 